work with Aqua Security. Um, we help enterprises secure their cloud native deployments. And I look after the open source tools that, that we build there. Uh, and I have been involved in, with kind of containers and container security for, for quite a few years now. Uh, so earlier this year, uh, I published the, this book with O'Reilly, Container Security. Uh, you can you know, buy this from all good bookshops, um, but you can also download a free electronic copy. So if you follow that link, um, you know, don't let price be an obstacle if you're interested in, in, you know, in the material that we're covering. So these are the different areas that I kind of have prepared that I think we can, we can talk about. Uh, we have a poll, so maybe we can open that poll so you can start voting on these options. And while you're voting, I'll just very, at a high level, talk a little bit about these options. So they're kind of in the order of things that you can do at build time through to, um, you know, at the end, things that happen at runtime. Uh, for most of these, I have some demos so we can uh, uh, explore which ones you, uh, you know, we can, we can dive into them. I, as we go through each one of these topics, uh, let's do Q&A about that topic because they're all quite different. And uh, yeah, so just go ahead and vote on whichever thing you think looks interesting to you. Okay, so are you keeping your hosts up to date with the latest security releases? So this is actually a little bit more of a story than it is a, a demo. One of the tools that we write within my team is called KubeBench. And KubeBench is an open source tool to check your Kubernetes configuration uh, to see whether it's meeting recommendations that are defined by the Center for Internet Security. They have a thing called the Kubernetes benchmark. And KubeBench runs through all the tests in that benchmark. That benchmark has evolved along with Kubernetes over the course of the last um, probably three or four years, I would imagine. And uh, different versions of that benchmark apply to different versions of Kubernetes. So this tweet is from April this year, where one of our commercial customers actually at Aqua asked why KubeBench doesn't support Kubernetes version 1.8. Now, depending on how familiar you are with Kubernetes, this is kind of an, either a really obvious question to you, or the answer is really obvious, or it's not. Really, it comes down to keeping your software up to date. The current version of Kubernetes is 1.19. At the point where this question was asked, I believe it was 1.17. Kubernetes has a policy of releasing sort of three to four times a year and maintaining support for the most three recent releases. So uh, I think at the time this question was asked, support was available for 1.15, 16, and 17, something like that. 1.8 had been out of support for a long, long time. Uh, I wrote a video, explain, or I made a little video explaining that, and uh, some other people on the internet thought I was uh, being far too nice to people who were running software that was, uh, you know, two years out of date. Like any software, security issues do get found in Kubernetes. This applies to other software you're running on your hosts as well. Uh, there's a set of announcements that come out. Um, this, I, I actually grabbed this screenshot yesterday to make sure it was up to date. So you can see, well, we haven't had any uh, particularly serious security issues, you know, for a, for a month or two. But, you know, security issues do come up. In the olden days, we used to resolve this through patching. And in today's cloud native environment, what it means is you really need to be making sure you're checking that your host software is up to date. There are tools that will do that for you automatically and, and alert you if you're, um, you know, a lot of commercial security tools will alert you if your hosts are running 
out of date software. But really, you know, the set of software you should be running on your hosts should be small, right? You're probably running Kubernetes, you're running a container runtime, maybe there's some logging software, but maybe you're running that in a cloud native way anyway. There's not much that you need to update on your host machines. So make sure you're updating that. Now, if you saw Sam's uh, keynote uh, just before this, he talked about how you know, we're still at a stage where 70% of people are running on-prem, rather running their own infrastructure rather than public cloud. If you're in the public cloud and you're using a managed service, that's going to take care of the updates for you. It's one of the advantages of public clouds and managed services. Um, but if you are managing your own software, even if we're not talking about Kubernetes, it, whatever software we're talking about, keep it up to date. If you're not, you don't know what security issues you're running. 